Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 14th of May 2018. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, market updates, and uh, the uh, US market certainly gap high on the back of uh, Mr. Trump uh, paving the way for a potential deal via ZTE. Okay, that certainly is being interpreted as being bullish, and it's the reason why US markets have gapped higher. So, potential uh, downplaying of the China trade war concerns that certainly is helping uh, the equity markets also. Uh, and the additional factor as well, we have um, uh, in terms of well, that really is the main factor, really, especially with regards to US indices pushing higher as well on a Friday. In terms of um, Asian markets, Asian markets certainly higher as well on the back of uh, the uh, tra rhetoric with regards to Trump and uh, obviously China certainly being uh, rattled down. Now, in terms of uh, European markets, certainly haven't exactly uh, benefited from the actual rally itself uh, in US equities. Let's just bring up the uh, German DAX. And you can certainly see that we're still uh, obviously registering that bearish engulfing candles are still relatively remains weak. I failed to take that bit double top high at uh, 13.035 especially with the daily chart into that gap fill resistance. In terms of economic news flow then today, let's just quickly go through. Uh, in terms of this morning, uh, JPY data more or less uh, was the uh, main uh, market mover overnight. Nothing really of any uh, major importance. Mr. Mester certainly hawkish. Uh, Mr. Mersh from ECB certainly hawkish as well. Uh, Mr. Prayer as well. Uh, Bullard certainly speaking in the next 10 to 15 minutes. Then we've got Mr. Lockton Schlager as well. And then we've got Mr. Preya and Korea speaking later on. So it seems to be central bank speakers day to day. And let's see how that unfolds. Okay, so German DAX, looking at the technical picture, you can see that double top certainly has held. We are now coming into support now on the German DAX, given the fact that this failed to rally from the US equity market strength and Asian market strength. So that certainly isn't a good sign. So bear that in mind. So looking for a potential pop here on the German DAX. Any pop certainly is a shorting opportunity. So just bear that in mind as well. In terms of the French CAC, uh, French CAC as well, still a daily chart certainly holding, resistance holding, no real bullish move, especially given the US market strength. Okay, certainly not seeing that at all in the French CAC, failing to make a new high. We are into support here, looking to potentially bounce back up to 5540, which is gap fill, and you got ultimate gap fill at 5545. So watch out for those two resistance zones above. In terms of the FTSE 100, certainly remains weak. Okay. Uh, today uh, certainly is a weak link. Now the daily chart, as you can see, the bearish engulfing candle being registered. 60-minute chart now as well certainly still remains weak. Uh, again, the market has been putting higher highs and higher lows ever since. So just watch out there. The strength in the FTSE certainly has been very, very impressive to say the least. 60-minute chart still certainly seems to be pivoting lower. 10-minute uh, chart, the next potential support is seen around the 7690 zone. Let's see if we can retest. I'm looking for a potential retest higher. Uh, really for a potential shorting opportunity any any zone now between here between 7715 really is a good shorting opportunity or if we get back up to double top which is seen around the uh, 7730 zones so 7715 7730 two key zones to uh, short from my perspective okay so that's a good summation of european indices really they remain weak overall and uh, really they are, they are into the category, category of potentially shorting the lower high that's basically what I'm attempting to focus on. Please be sure to visit CFDs and certainly take advantage of the bonus there. And be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.